Okay, so my microphone is trash, but I'm going to do an impromptu video essay, mostly because I'm annoyed. Um, so I've been into Korean pop music since about 2009, and it's now 2020. So it's been a good 11 years. Grew up on it, and no. I, I know a lot about it, um, and the concept of someone who's maybe half black or half white or even not half Asian at all being in the Korean entertainment industry is not a new concept. Um, it's been happening since before I was born, um, so I'm very confused why the internet is acting like it's a new thing and using trying to act like they're being woke as an excuse to be abusive. Um, and I mean, a lot of Asian girls also noticed that a lot of Asian guys are just creating accounts, social media platforms like YouTube and Instagram and TikTok and nonsense to appeal to Korea booze, whether it be to gain validation or whether it be for popularity or whatever it may be. Um, a lot of that stems from the issue that in Western society, going into racial theory and into gender theory, um, the issue is that Asian men, and they've done statistics on this, done studies on this, are considered to be the least desirable male demographic within Western countries, especially predominantly white Western countries. Um, and... For some of them, this is their opportunity to either bash white people as a means of feeling better, which that's the whole complex thing that I don't feel like explaining in this moment, or um, it's time to get validation from those same white people. Um, I've noticed that there's some Asian male creators that go on and on about how the evil white peoples are make a bunch of white people jokes, but then all they appeal to are white Korea boos that just want an old par for today until they find a new Asian guy to obsess with. Um, I've met Asian guys like this in person. Um, thankfully, most of the ones that I've ever seen have been online. Um, I've never watched any of the other videos that this person has done. It's interesting that it says that Kachi is actually a good K-pop group up in the, the, the what side is that? The right hand corner? Um, it's interesting that they have a video on that and now they have a whole video, a whole 12 minute video, which means I don't know, they spent a good 20 minutes to like an hour um, creating a video meant to humiliate, harass, and degrade a bunch of girls that have to be like my age or younger. I'm 23. Um, for fun. And I don't really understand that. I know part of it, especially if they aren't from the West, is that they see comments online and they take things like people calling out cultural appropriation and other various racial issues and they think that that means, oh, well, I can get people to like me if I just trash real hard on something Western. Like, that's how you get, that's how you get attention. And, you know, that's not very productive. Um, as someone who literally, as of today, has a whole degree in history and racial theory, I can tell you that that's not exactly the way that you do that. That's not how, that's not very productive. Um, but apparently the members of Kachi, just, they have their own TikTok page or their own various TikTok pages and they're doing what literally everyone else is doing in 2020 including like middle-aged people and are just making TikToks because one social isolation and two even before social isolation um 
people have the right to just have fun on social media so long as they're not doing anything racist or something it's fine so why do you care and a part of the why do you care part it's interesting because while in korea i noticed that the foreigners especially the white ones cared more about bashing the possibility of a non-Asian in Korean entertainment more so than the Koreans themselves and I just found that to be rather interesting like why do you feel like you're an authority on who can be in an industry that isn't even made for you and Koreans aren't worried about representation because they're in Korea where they see Koreans all of the time not just around them but also in their own media there's actual talent agencies that are meant for foreigners to enter the Korean entertainment industry. So why anyone feels this entitlement to say what can and cannot be in a country that they have no not not a citizen of, didn't grow up in, has nothing to do with them whatsoever. Why they feel the need to dictate what can and cannot be in their media is a very complex thing that I don't feel like explaining because my brain hurts. But this dude decided that it was acceptable to post online calling these girls who I'm going to go ahead and look up the ages of prostitutes, all sorts of nonsense because they're posting TikToks and they like K-pop as if the vast majority of the girls who watch him aren't a bunch of Korea boos who do the same thing in their bedrooms. So not sure why he's taking this so far, but I'm gonna go ahead and look at the ages of these whole girls? Um, they're not K-pop. And it's not because they have non-Asians in it, because that's not what dictates what, what is and what is not K-pop. It's about, is it from Korea and is it in Korean? Because if you guys didn't know, K-pop is made up of a bunch of African-American culture and some aspects of the J-pop idol system. Neither one of those things are Korean at all. Like not even a little bit, not even a tiny bit. None of those things come from Korea, originate in Korea, none of those things. And SES, the rapper for SES was literally copying flow of left eye from TLC. There's been numerous groups where the company admitted that they just took something from a black group and they wanted to do it in a Korean way. This is not news. Rap music was not invented by uh, Korean people. R&B was not made by Korean people and there's a crap ton of Korean artists like Taemin from Shiny who actively say that these things don't come from Korea and that they're from black people in America. Whenever they talk about artists that inspire them, it's always someone who's either half black or fully black. So I'm confused as to why any of you are under the mindset that these things are Korean because Koreans invented it when that's not the case because even Koreans are, aren't saying that they invented it so why are you well, what's happening um k-pop is k-pop because it comes from Korean companies in South Korea and is in the Korean language it's like some of you think that the non-Korean Asians in K-pop are just Korean because maybe some of you, maybe maybe some of you are viewing Asians to just be a monolith. So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. There, there's three Japanese members in Twice. If you call them Korean, I'm pretty sure they'd be rather offended because that's not their ethnicity. They're Japanese. All because they're Asian doesn't mean that they're the same ethnicity. Some of you talk as if being Asian is enough and you completely erase the cultural backgrounds of people who aren't Korean but are still Asian. 
And it's really gross. Don't do that. That's not cute. I, that's not... No, that's not... One of these girls was born in 1999, so she's 21. One of these girls was born in 1994. That's two years before me. That's, that's 20... Turning 26 this year, this year. One of them is 22. And one of them, the youngest one, is 20. So, yep, these... Kids, yep, <laughs> that's what that is. That's you don't. We're gonna watch some of what he has said. Um, it's horrifically offensive. It's horrifically sexist. And I know Korea boos think that Korean men aren't real men. I know because I've heard them say it. I was in Korea and there was non-Asian girl saying that Asian men aren't a threat and don't rape people because Asian men don't do things like that as if we're not in a whole Korea that suffered at the hands of imperialist Japan. But that's fine, I guess. Live in delusion, I guess. But I'm going to play some of this and not angrily scream over it the whole time. It looks like he's just actively trying to find ways to make fun of them because he knows that, okay, I'm sorry, but a lot of the people who are super duper angry about this are Koreaboos themselves because like I've seen their pages and like they'll make a thousand excuses for why Opar wore a Nazi uniform and like, no, no, you're just, it, you're, it, you're, pro you're probably worse, you're probably worse and there's no reason to be this angry it doesn't make any sense to be this angry to be attacking people to be making fake accounts and and all the soft public account nonsense so that you can call them whores and make up rumors about them to to excuse why you hate them so much and and it it just looks like he's purposely trying to find reasons to make fun of them to appeal to the demographic that dislikes them but the problem is is that even people who dislike them like this person here are people that are neutral are people who actually genuinely just really just dislike like dislike like they roll their eyes at the name of them plenty of them in this comment section are genuinely disgusted by a lot of the things that's coming out of his mouth because I'm going to say it again, it seems like a lot of people don't understand the fact that even though they're an Asian man, because y'all emasculate them, you don't realize that they're fully capable of being misogynistic pieces of crap, just like anyone else. Like, you keep talking about them like they're women, and even women are capable of being misogynistic. It's called internalized misogyny. So I'm confused. Genuine confusion. As confused. If any of you think that the, what he just said just now wasn't incredibly sexist, you, you clearly just have yellow fever. Like, there's something wrong with you. Because everything that just came out of his mouth just then, if a white dude just said it, would you be mad? 
if a black dude said it, would you scream about how he's predatory and hates women? Because everything that just came out of his mouth was disgusting just then. There is absolutely no reason to degrade and humiliate women for doing something as simple as doing a TikTok. It's not that serious. It's a TikTok. Unless they were doing some racist, okay, then there, it'd be a problem. It'd be an issue. But the thing is, the thing is, they're at most cringy. At most. And being cringy is not worthy of being degraded in front of 300 to 326,000 subscribers. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And you can't go on, oh, well, he just made a mistake this time. Because clearly, that's how he actually feels about women, especially non-Asian women. Whether he's a bunch of white girls or not, I'm the first person, first person, to call out white supremacy when I see it. It doesn't mean that I think it's acceptable to degrade a bunch of women just because they're white. But that's not cute. That's not cute. He is still a whole cisgender male. A cisgender male. Regardless of him being Asian, it doesn't matter. He's still being a sexist piece of crap. And if you genuinely care about feminism, you genuinely care about calling out male oppressors, I feel like you should have some sort of issue with this current situation. If you don't, I know I'm going to save you. I'm going to say it again because I've had to say this to several girls before who have made all sorts of excuses for Asian guys before because God knows I've interacted with a lot of Korean booze because I'm cursed apparently. If a white dude said it, would it be okay? When, when a male K-pop idol puts on blackface, would you be fine if it was a white dude? If the answer is no, then you shouldn't be fine when it's an Asian guy that does it. And back to this situation, what he just said just then was next level disgusting. And it's not about shaming sex workers. It's about the fact that, well, he was shaming sex workers in that, in, in that statement. But like me speaking right now, it's not about shaming sex workers. It's about the fact that he wants to view them as something to be degraded and humiliated. And that's not acceptable because nothing that they're doing, nothing that they're doing, nothing that they're doing warrants that. Nothing that they're doing warrants that. And it doesn't even seem like he's speaking from... It doesn't seem like he's actually has any sort of personal opinion about these girls, to be honest. It seems like it's more centered around what's going to get me attention. And you know what? I hope more Asian girls, because I've seen Asian girls on TikTok call it out, start talking about how really misogynistic and messed up a lot of Asian men are being right now because they want attention from Korea boobs. Um, I didn't really see this when weeaboos were a thing. It was mainly like really creepy older Japanese dudes in Japan being weird, but I didn't see like a trend of like Asian guys desperately trying to get attention from weeaboos during that time period. Maybe I was too busy being consumed by playing Guy Online. Who knows? All I know is is that if y'all keep letting stuff like this slide, um, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I've had people who I used to be friends with that they actively heard a Korean guy say horrifying things about women before, and they were like, well just misunderstood and left it alone but like a white dude sneezed in the wrong way and they were like he's awful so clearly y'all just have a fetish for asian people i don't know what else to tell you i don't know what else to tell you but that's my impromptu video essay for today you can't let things like this slide 
a bunch of people heard him say all these disgusting things and, and still like the video, continue to subscribe, y'all heard, y'all heard him say those things and you still just let it slide, you still just thought that it was fine, you thought it was fine. Constructive criticism with them is perfectly fine. For one, they have to stop calling themselves a K-pop group, a K-pop inspired group, that's fine. Well, the K-pop group in itself, that's just, it's just not even offensive, it's just factually incorrect, because they're just, they're not, they're not that. But this constant stream of pure hatred is gross and really unnecessary. And it seems less like you care about K-pop or representation, and it seems more like you just enjoy degrading people. And it's not that cute. I don't like that. I don't really like that. And I think that you should probably stop. I think that you should probably stop. And people need to be held accountable for their actions. And I'm only making this video essay kind of nonsense. It's more of a rant than anything else because this is not very structured. Simply because, like, I keep seeing people talk about it. People that have no idea what they're talking about talk about it. And I feel like it's very important for people to start holding people accountable for their actions. Because this whole time, I keep seeing stuff about well, Asian women complaining about what I was talking about before. And of just a bunch of channels done by Asian men meant to fetishize their own race while actively disrespecting women every five seconds and they know that they can do it because Korea was supposed to be crawling back. Come crawling back. Even if they're not Korean themselves, Koreans can't tell the difference. Did I not just tell y'all before that they think that, that the concept of someone who isn't Korean in the Korean group is, is strange as if TWICE doesn't have three Japanese members? Uh, and, mm, 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 FX has two non-Korean members. A whole XOM existed at one point. It didn't go too well, but it existed. And it's, it's gross. It's gross. I don't like it. It's gross. I've seen some Korea boos actively put their lives in danger because they genuinely believe that Asian men are incapable of being predatory or misogynistic. And I just really need y'all to see that that's not real. Mostly for your own safety and also because misogynists need to be held accountable for their actions. And now I'm gonna shut up because now I got a headache. Now I'm just annoyed. So that's great. I'm just gonna go. Now. Now I'm annoyed, and it's not about hating this specific dude, it's about the fact that what he did was gross. And when someone does something that's gross, you call it gross. It is not mean to say that someone was being awful when they were being awful. He purposely made this video with the intent of humiliating these girls and having more people go and attack them. Even if in the video he says that that wasn't the case, even if he comments that wasn't the case, if he's forced to make a, a fake apology video about how he didn't mean for it to be that way, he spent 12 minutes and 20 seconds degrading and humiliating a bunch of young girls that are doing nothing but making TikToks and being a little cringe. They can do a little better, but being a little cringe does not warrant any of this whatsoever, not even a little bit, not even a tiny bit, and I'm really sick of YouTube recommending me these videos about people being angry that these girls breathe, because I really don't care. I really don't care. I really don't care. But what I do care about is misogyny. Misogyny. Racism. Any form of bigotry. That's what I care about. That's what I care about a lot. And y'all woke Twitter people, y'all woke K-pop Twitter people cannot run around talking about how much you care and then not be enraged by this video and the kind of videos that come out like this. Thank you.
And now I'm for real, for real, gonna go. So now, I'm so annoyed. I'm so old. 